Well, the call that I got was not one that I expected to get. It was something doesn't seem right. They're going to do a CT scan just to see what's you know what's going on. With that, our world changed completely. <coughs> We um, were heading on vacation to Chicago, and on Monday morning we got up, and Joseph's like, "Hey, can I help you pack?" And I'm like, "Yeah, sure," you know. And then he said, and "He goes, Mom, I have a headache." And I said, "Well, why aren't you lay down?" And he's like, oh, "I just really don't feel good." So we, you know, we kind of he got sick, and we thought he just had the flu with busy weekend and had a lot of late nights. And that night he seemed to be a little bit better, and he felt like driving into Chicago. With him, he was just never ever sick that long, and um, he eventually just started saying his head hurt really bad, and he sat up and just ended up falling to the ground, got sick, and so we took him to the ER thinking, probably dehydrated, and the doctors thought he was dehydrated too, did some blood work, um, and that all came back totally normal. But the one thing we noticed is he couldn't stay awake. He just, I mean, he'd open his eyes, and he just was fighting, falling asleep, and she said, I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna do a CT of his brain. We need to make sure his brain's okay. So they did that, and she came back and said they had found a two centimeter mass in the center of his brain. We were at Children's Memorial Hospital for 10 days where they were trying to decide if the tumor was inoperable, could they do chemo initially before they sent us back to Iowa City. They decided to put a shunt in, so that's an internal tube that's draining the extra fluid from his brain into his stomach and he'll have that probably the rest of his life. And after 10 days they sent us back home, hooked us up with the um, University of Iowa Children's Hospital. I think it was about two days after coming home we came up here to the University of Iowa. They told us that first day, they said, you know, you're part of this healthcare team. If you don't like something, talk to us. If you want to try something, talk to us. And everyone is so kind and so patient and considerate. And it's just amazing how they treat these kids. And Joseph has really taken cancer more than just something that he wants to be. He's really taken it a step further. He's done numerous radiothons for Children's Miracle Network. He's very involved with um, Dance Marathon, different activities, fundraising for that. Joseph got his head shaved, and apparently we did not know it until we saw her in the shaving chair that he had gone up to her and said, now it's your turn, I'll hold your hand if you're scared. And so she sat down and got her head shaved, and Joseph held her hand the entire time. <laughs> you know, and that's just kind of one more thing where these doctors are so much more than just in the clinic, you know, they are, I mean, I think they do their job with a lot of heart. A coworker of my husband's grandson was born um, with a liver tumor, and Joseph um, had heard about it. All of a sudden, a couple weeks later, he comes out one night and he's like, I made a book and it was called I, I Had, had cancer, cancer Too. I Had Cancer Too by Joseph Birkin, age six. I had surgery. I had to take pills. Pill. I played a lot. That end. Joseph ended chemo in, it would have been September of 2012 was his last regimen. Um, the goal of chemo with this type of tumor is to keep it the same size or to grow less than 25%. And all during chemo, um, the tumor stayed the exact same size, so that was successful. And actually twice in the last year, we have been told that his tumor has shrunk significantly. So that's um, definitely an answer to prayer and a very rare thing to happen. If I could say something to Joseph's care team, it would just um, be a heartfelt thank you. Um, Really, it's because of them that he's still here, um, because of what they do every day, because of what they do every day and night, and um, looking for the best and the newest treatment. Just thank you. It's really all I can say for giving us our son. When he was diagnosed, he was five, and we just dreamed that he would celebrate his sixth and his seventh birthday. And he's eight now, and so um, it's because of the care that he's received here that that's possible.